the total number of confirmed cases of the covid-19 virus has crossed over 800000 just now so as you can see from this graph that the growth has been exponential if you want to learn more about what an exponential growth is i will recommend a video by 3 blue one brown the link for which will be given in the description box below so as you can see that around 60 to 65000 cases are increasing regularly throughout the world if you click on the daily increase tab and just zoom it out then as you can see 67000 and 59000 and 60 to 62000 cases per day so these numbers are just frightening for everyone and i think most of you would have been quarantined as per the guidelines issued by the indian government everyone had to stay indoors and as you can see the lectures by our honorable prime minister eshah pantha hame ghar se bahar nahi nikalna hai chahe jo ho jaye ghar mein hi rehna hai social distancing and i think that we can help the government and the officials by just staying at home and also what we can do more is that we can help the government in solving the issue of the outbreak of the corona virus so for this purpose i am creating this video this video will try to predict the total number of confirmed cases throughout the world in the next few days in the next few weeks how it's going to grow and whether it will slow down or not as you can clearly see that the growth means the rate of growth of this graphs are very high very very high so necessary precautions must be taken so for this purpose i have used an statistical tool called exponential smoothing model which will be able to predict the total number of confirmed cases in the uh, total number of confirmed cases throughout the world so i have used this project along with some changes to predict the total number of uh, confirmed cases throughout the world more accurately so here is the code for this purpose i have used uh, google colab as it provides gpus for free of cost definitely so what i have done is to predict the total number of confirmed cases from previous data sets and for this purpose i have used uh, the repository called css egi send data okay so they provide very good set of data and the graph which you see earlier this one i guess it's all from there from their website and as you can see that in my country which is india there have been around 1250 cases and 40 confirmed cases this is wrong by the time i am recording this video there have been 40 confirmed deaths so here is our project files so first of all i am importing all these necessary libraries and before proceeding further i would like to show you some graphs which this model has predicted okay so i think here we are so i am using two models named as exponential and serimax model the so the first one has predicted that by 7th of april there would have been 1.5 million cases around the world and the exponential smoothing model has predicted that by 7th of april 2020 there would have been around 1.489 million cases throughout the world so <laughs> these numbers are quite frightening and i think we should take pre necessary precautions to avoid such outbreak throughout the world so we have imported uh, a lot of libraries for this purpose and the data set which i am using is the covid-19 data set of css egi send data from github they provide very good data as you can see here covid-19 and inside this directory there is uh, covid-19 data and inside time series predictions there are three total confirmed deaths and recoveries so these are some data sets which we are going to use so here as you can see we are reading the data set using pandas data frame so we have to pre process the data set for actual predictions okay so as you can see we will process the data as per the country name and the number of infected people and at the end the index of the, these data sets will be deaths okay 
so we have just cleaned our data and as you can see now the data set looks good now moving further as you can see that the shape of this data set is 254 by 70 means there are 254 rows are the are there are over 250 regions or countries or provinces and there are 70 days means this data set contains data over 70 days okay so as you can see that by country or region there are 253 including 0 this will be 254 okay so as you can see we have added the total number of cases per day throughout uh, two months i think uh, okay it's 70 days i forgot so in order to make the model work we have to clean this data set and by these lines of code we are doing that okay so as you can see that on 30th of march there are 170 cases in afghanistan and similarly all of them are given and i guess in india it has not shown here because there are so many around 250 provinces okay so in the us as you can see there are over 160 cases in this data set okay so after some more processing and after getting the dates of these data points as you can see there are dates actual dates so finally we have saved the data set so total infected people are infected people from the given data set means total infected people from the given data set there are around seven there are around 780 confirmed so if we print the infected people then as you can see here that on 30th of march there are around 780,000 plus confirmed cases in the world and by the time you are watching this video it will be around 850,000 or more than that so if we describe the infected people or the given data then we can see that the mean is around 140,000 and the maximum which is of course this one means on 30th of march and it's around 780,000 confirmed cases okay so now if we visualize the data then as you can see that on 30th of march it's around say it's above 600,000 cases as you can see here so we have visualized this data and now we are preparing our data for the training and testing set and clearly the training is the total confirmed cases from the infected people data and it's uh, if we print the tell tell means uh, five data points from the end and it's uh, the latest of 30th march is 782000 okay so now as you can see we are going to use exponential smoothing model and like in statistics it will predict the total number of cases in the next few days which are growing exponentially and for this purpose i have named it as model one cause we are going to use two sets of model and the first one is exponential and for this the predictions are given here here is start equal to 65 and end equal to 80 which means we are predicting the data from the 65th day to 80th day from 22nd of january i guess yeah because we have the data from 22nd of january okay so if we increase 80 to 85 or say 90 then run run it again so it has predicted that around 10th of april if necessary precautions are not taken then the growth or the total number of people infected by the covid 19 virus will be around 1.8 million and that's definitely a very big number and by 11th of april it will be around 2 million so that these are very 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 big numbers so this graph plots the actual number of infected people with the predicted people so as you can see here that on 30th of march it has predicted around the same and if the blue one the and if the blue line which is the actual value of infected persons from covid 19 will grow at the same rate then the predicted graph will actually be very 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 accurate and i'm saying that because the exponential growth model has proved to be very beneficial in predicting and it has been very accurate over the years and the second model which we are going to use is the serimax model 
and as you can see i have named it second model and as you can see that these are the value points which it should be given as parameters and then the model is fitted to train on and as you can see these are the results or the output now predictions 2 is the predicted number of people with confirmed covid 19 cases from the second model which is cerimax model and if you print the predictions 2 then it says that around 7th of april it there will be around 1.5 million cases and if necessary precautions or necessary measures will not be taken then there will be around 2 million cases around 11th of april okay so these are very very big numbers as I already said. So now if you plot the actual numbers versus the predicted numbers then as you can see that the graph seems uh, overlapping with each other with each other. So I think uh, this proves to be a very accurate model. Now if you plot both the graphs on the same graph paper then as you can see that the total number of confirmed cases by the exponential smoothing model is slightly less than the Sarimax model. So in my opinion the exponential model is far better than Sarimax model because it has predicted lesser number of people infected with COVID-19 virus in the next few days. Now from both the models we can conclude that there will be around 1.5 million people infected with the coronavirus by 10th of April I guess. Guys, please take necessary precautions to minimize this number as minimum as possible. And in the quarantine time, I will try to upload more videos related to the coronavirus and some more predictions using another models like uh, logistic regression and so on. So guys, thanks for watching this video and please, please, please take necessary precautions and be safe. Thanks for watching.